The last anime opener I created took three weeks to complete. This time, I'm going to try and do it in five days. But after a few days, I'd realize I'd bitten off more than I could chew. This was too much. This was too much. Why do I say yes to things I, I think I can do, but I can't really do? Oh, why did I agree to this? This week, the topic was the NBA, chosen by our business manager, Will. Let's set the rules for what makes an anime opener. Well, after watching thousands of hours of anime openers, I narrowed it down to just a few things that you'll need to include. A clearly defined hero, who the show is mostly about, a villain or rival who may or may not become friends with the protagonist a little bit later, all the hero's friends or the ensemble cast, a hand reaching up towards a goal or aspiration, flowing and waving fabric or hair, pretty looking clouds, characters walking in slow motion, still but dynamic shots of your characters, head turns, lots and lots of head turns, and at least one banger of an action scene. And of course, we need a killer music track, which I found from the last time I was sourcing music for my previous anime video, which you can check out in the description. All right, let's brainstorm. Who are our main characters? So I love the NBA and my favorite era is definitely the late 80s, 90s period of the NBA with Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson and the Bulls three-peat era. And to be honest, I really just wanted to make Michael Jordan into an anime character. So in this case, it was a no-brainer that Jordan should be the main character. And at the time, Larry Bird was probably his greatest rival. If you think it should have been someone else, comment below. Okay, we've got our main character down, but who are his friends? I decided on a few basketball legends, Magic Johnson, Charles Barkley, Scottie Pippen, and of course Shaq. And while Shaq didn't technically come to a little later, I decided to let it slide because this is an anime and not necessarily factually accurate. I couldn't pass up on a chance to put Shaq in an anime, could I? All right, now that we've got our friends to find, we've got to figure out a situation to bring them together. To kind of string this story together, I decided to put them in a high school setting, an NBA high school, if you will. Day one started off with a little bit of storyboarding. A lot of this is just trying to find a vibe that does or doesn't work with the music and how much action I need for each section. I also use the storyboards to basically help me design the characters and translate human characters into anime form. It's kind of a fun process, but it can be a bit of trial and error, especially if you're not a particularly good drawer like I am. All right, once I have all the storyboards mapped out, I throw them into the timeline and create some rough animatics using some of the sketches and a little bit of the animation that I've sort of roughly drawn out in Procreate to kind of get a vibe of where the direction of the action is going and seeing if I need extra bits and pieces along the way. I really enjoy actually the animatic process because it really starts to get me jazzed about what's coming ahead, but also terrifies me because there's a lot of stuff in here that I'm like, I don't know if I can pull this off, but honestly, that's for future Nick to figure out. Day two. Now that the storyboard is done, let's get onto the animation. So first things first, let's make the backgrounds. Now making the backgrounds aren't too bad. Some of the time it's just tracing over things like I did with the opening basketball hoop scene with Jordan. And sometimes I'm coming up with things from scratch, just like the opening school show. Day three. Now this was probably the worst day because there was just so much to do and I didn't get much sleep. It kind of drove me a little bit insane. So the shot I knew was going to take the longest was where Jordan was walking in slow motion and the final end scene. Now the final scene didn't take as long as I thought it would, but the walking in slow motion scene took forever to do. In fact, when I checked my canvas stats in Procreate, it said I took 12 hours to create this scene, which you only see for a few seconds. It's about here I begin to contemplate the existence of my life and why the heck am I subjecting myself to such torture? This was too much. This was too much. Why do I say yes to things I, I think I can do, but I can't really do? Project is killing me. <laughs> oh, why did I agree to this? It's here I began to realize that maybe I've bitten off way more than I can chew and maybe I'm not going to get this video done in time. Sponsor time. Is your boss constantly harassing you to get those motion graphics out on a deadline? No, God, please, no! Well, cut those times in half using the Lyric Video Creator Kit. 22 customizable presets, templates, motion backgrounds, and best of all, you don't need any After Effects skills. Just drag and drop them onto your Premiere timeline and you're good to go. 
So what are you waiting for? Grab that Lyric Video Creator Kit in the description today so you can get out of work early and go sit on some beach somewhere or wherever it is you like to go. You do you. What's the time? Over. Day four, I woke up and decided to review the Jordan walking footage that I had made the night before and realized that the legs look really crap. And so I didn't have any time, unfortunately, to go back and fix anything. So I had to just leave it and just crop it, unfortunately. Man, so much wasted time having to do that one bloody show. The rest of the day was speeding through, trying to clean up all the line art, plus color in all the characters and components. To say this was time consuming is an understatement. It's like painting a million pictures of the same thing over and over again. I use a couple of cheap tricks here to do this opening ball rolling scene. I use a texture for the floor, I flip it 90 degrees, add an illustrated basketball on top, create a reflection, add a camera move, and bam, you've got a contemplative rolling basketball shot. Okay, so I had most of my characters just looking at the camera, but I knew at least one of them had to make a head turn. Shaq was gonna be it. And while the head turn was better than the one I did in Breaking Bad, I'm still not convinced I did a good job, but I'm running out of time here, so I decided to leave it for now. Oh, and I decided to add a little movement to Larry Bird's hair, seeing as he's only one of two characters in the show who seem to have hair. All right, what's next? That's right, we need our hero reaching up, much like Deku reaching up in this opener. But what is our hero reaching towards? Let's say he wants the NBA championship trophy. Sounds good. All right, it's all coming together. Now day five is going completely fine, provided nothing goes wrong. It's a mad dash to the finish line. Everything looks technically correct, but nothing looks sexy yet. Now to add some cool effects to each of the scenes. These scenes with Shaq felt a little bland, so I wanted to add some glows to the glass shards as they were falling. Likewise, the trophy scene felt like it needed a little bit more magic, so I hand animated some of the light gleam. Now, being the sadistic man that I am, I wanted to get some feedback and send it over to my fellow NBA nerd, Dave. And he informed me that Jordan has to be wearing the black and red Air Jordans from the 1985 Dunk Cop. And he was completely right. So I go back and painstakingly repaint every frame of the final scene with the correct shoes. Ah. Oh. All right, it's coming down to the wire, but something is still missing. Something that would just put the animation right over the top and make the audience go. And then I tapped into my inner Asian and saw doves flying off in slow motion. I needed to John Woo the crap out of this bad boy. So I animated some birds, threw them into the shots, and then the masterpiece was complete. What the heck is that? Jordan is clearly dunking with his left arm. This is where Evil Nick comes in and starts talking to me. They're not gonna notice he's dunking with his left hand. It's not a big deal. But it was to me. It was a grueling five days, but now I present to you, if the NBA was an anime. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. And if you wanna check out another tutorial, why don't you check out this one here about the After Effects Masterclass, which is just a great tutorial about how to get started with After Effects if you don't know anything about After Effects. All right, see you there.